Friends meet Tom. Tom lived a good life on this farm, but now Tom is going to turn into future soups and chicken pot pies and all kinds of yummy stuff. So this is one of our 2019 um, bronze breasted turkeys that we raised and I am ready to can him up. We didn't have a big Thanksgiving this year, which is what he was had been saved for. So let's put him to work again to feed this family. So Todd's gonna come in here. I just wanted to show you guys what I was starting with before we get to the next step. He's gonna chop, chop this turkey all up for me so it cooks faster than a whole bird would. And I'm just gonna roast him. He is 22 pounds, a big old boy. <laughs> so it's gonna take a little bit longer than maybe your grocery store 10 to 12 pound bird, but oh, I'm gonna get a ton of meat off of him. And I'm so excited this year we're raising turkeys again and I can't wait. One of my most favorite animals in the world to raise on the farm. So let's get going on this project. And you guys are gonna be just as surprised as I am right now, cause I don't know what all we're gonna make with them, but we're gonna make some good stuff. I know I need to restock my pot pie base, chicken noodle soup base, and we're gonna use him for some of that. We're gonna get a lot of good broth out of him, and we'll see what else if uh, that we can come up with. So see you guys in just a bit after Todd gets him all chopped up for me. All right, didn't Todd do a great job? Of those big old turkey breast. So basically, I uh, cut the turkey breast and wings off, and then the leg quarters. I've got my onions are chopped up. I'm just gonna lay those around the pan to roast while the turkey's roasting. And then um, I just took the ends and tops off two cloves of garlic, and we'll let those roast along as well. And then with the carcasses, while the turkeys are roasting, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my broth. But to wrap this up, I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt well over the turkey, pepper it a little time. Sprinkle some salt in with my turkey carcasses. Can you guys even see those? These are the two carcass. So the only bones left here are the bones in the wings and the bones in the legs. I'm gonna throw my frozen roasting carrots in with the carcass. Oh, pepper. Pepper these. The oven it has preheated to 325. Sprinkle on some thyme. Okay, what else do we got to do? Oh, celery. So if any of you guys are like expert celery growers, let me know. Tell me if it's worth it or, I mean, celery is just so cheap. It's one of those things like I don't really mind the few times I need it during the year to buy it. Let me be right back. I'm gonna wash these up real quick. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a few in with the turkey and the rest are gonna go in my pot with the broth. Once the onions are done with the roasting, they'll also go in with the broth. So let's get these turkeys now into the oven. And we're probably gonna have to roast these guys for about, oh, I guess, to two and a half hours or yeah, something around there. Just bring that to a boil and take it down. Normally I use my big roaster for this but I've been using that so much and it's not exactly the funnest thing to clean. Um, I have some herbs de Provence so I'm going to put that in with it. 
Once I get it up to temperature, I'm just gonna cover it and I'm gonna let it cook low and slow while the turkey's in the oven. So I'll see you guys back sometime this evening and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Sometimes forget, don't forget to throw in a splash of apple cider vinegar in your broth. I'm gonna have to take some of this water out. I just pulled these out real quick so I could check the temperature. So the breasts are at 125. The wings are done, they're at 170. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those off. You know, Todd and I probably just have these wings for dinner tonight. That'll be yummy. Let me check the drumsticks real quick. Get back, guys. The dogs think it smells good. They're at 150, which would probably be good enough for canning, but I'll let them go just a little bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead and put these breasts back in, maybe about 30 more minutes. It's very heavy. Okay, I'm gonna see how the stack's going. Getting good. So we're cooking away. We'll be back probably in about half an hour, I'd say. All right, well, the drumsticks are done and thighs too. Just pulled those out. And guys, I have decided I'm gonna take the creative content liberty to change it up here. And I'm gonna title this video, obviously what it was titled, prepping turkey for <laughs> um, preserving. This smells so good. I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead. You guys like to always ask, show us more meals that you guys eat, meals that you guys eat from your pantry. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to make dinner because this smells so good and I wanna <laughs> eat some. So I went down to the pantry and I grabbed a can of greens and a can of potatoes. And we're gonna have potatoes and greens and some turkey for dinner. So with the greens, this is broccoli and Brussels sprout greens for the most part. Um, I'm just going to dump those as is into my pot and just reheat. It was cooked with ham hocks and some spices. And then for the potatoes, what I do is um, these are the potatoes that we grew last year. Worked out pretty well. I, I know a lot of people struggle with cloudiness. I ended up only with a little bit of cloudiness at the bottom. Um, I'm gonna rinse these two times. Well, drain them, rinse them twice. I'll bring them back. We'll reheat and mash them up. All right, to the potatoes, I will add a little bit of milk. Uh, good dollop of sour cream. Get those heating up. Some garlic powder. Some pepper. Some salt. And some butter. Once these um, get up to heat, I will give them a good smash and then I'll take my immersion blender to them and blend them up real good. Let me just show you what the mashed potatoes look like after they've been whipped. Perfect, yummy. I don't 
it's just really just, I mean, it's that simple to throw together a really tasty meal. I mean, I know the prep work to make the turkey wasn't planned, but hey, it's ready. And all I got to do is just reheat my greens. I'll show you those. Don't those look good? Ham hocks and what is that? Uh, garlic and all kinds of deliciousness in there. So stick around and come back for um, tomorrow. I guess I'll be canning this up. I'm sure I'll start some of it tonight. We're gonna wrap up this broth. I'll be sure to share with you on that video how that turned out. Once these carcasses are well cooked, I'm gonna pull them out, refill it with water and top it off just to let you know. Um, and some of that broth will be used for my canning and if there's anything left over we'll can it up either as replacement stock i've used a lot of stock lately to um, make my soups so i could certainly use to refill my pantry with some so maybe this is just my new style of filming i think I'm going to film something and I decide midway to <laughs> change it up. Hopefully that doesn't drive you guys too crazy. But hey, it's normal life. It's real life. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bon appetit. <laughs>